So hello, this uh, video is a demonstration of setting up a simple CI-CD pipeline using GitLab CI and Pages. So while we do this demonstration, I'm going to be using the GitLab built-in CI. And just a little explanation, GitLab Pages are, there's one, there's the ability to have a GitLab page associated with each of your repositories on GitLab. There's something similar also on GitHub but I'm demonstrating GitLab here. And they're for, uh, the pages are for hosting static websites that are associated with those repositories. So all of this material is licensed under the Creative Commons. Uh, you, I will put the link in the description of the video, uh, but feel free to use it. I'm not sure there's commercial use for it, but I always use this license. So share alike. Um, I'm doing this example on a Linux box at the command line just because it's simpler. I won't be switching to too many windows. So the same thing can be done with a windowing UI and lots of different things, but I'm, I'm going to do it simply at the command line on a Unix box. So what we're going to do now is create a repository. So I've started to do that here. I'm on GitLab and my repository is demo one GitLab CI. It's going to be a private repository because I want to keep um, all of my uh, my private information private. So what's going to be deployed to pages is only a part of it. So I'm going to create a private uh, project. So I'll create that project. And then I have all the information for the project. But one of the first things I want to do is go to the settings. Because if you have a private project, GitLab pages will by default be private and you have to log on. So I don't want to do that. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Visibility. I don't want to do that. I want it to be able to be seen by everyone. So I change this to everyone and I save that. So that's changed to everyone. Everyone can see my pages when I, when I deploy them. I haven't created it yet. So let's have go back to the project because I need to get the, uh, the GitLab URI. Here's my URI for my new repository. So now I'm going to switch to the command line where I'm going to start setting this up. So here I am on, on a server, and the first thing I'm going to do is make a directory for this. So make dir demo1 So there we are. I now have an empty directory. But what I want to do is put in my web website content. So the first thing I'll do is a readme. So this is about uh, simply what I'm doing. I'm going to save that so I have a readme. I'm now going to create a directory for my content. So the way that this will work is I, I can pick several directories um, for standard uh, pipeline deployment, but in the case of pages and GitLab CI, I have to create a, a directory called public. So I'm going to deploy everything in public. So I can't use any other directory names. I had that issue before. So this is just built into uh, either the uh, pipeline or the pages, I'm not sure which. So um, there's my directory and in there I'm going to put my HTML. So public. So here I'm going to just copy paste a very simple HTML. So you don't have to watch me type that. Hit insert. I missed a bit. So here I need uh, So there we go, I have a relatively simple HTML. That's all I'm going to deploy for now. This is just the demo. It can be more. You can have whatever you want. You can have anything for a static web page. You can, so you can have CSS, HTML, JavaScript. No problem. So now I have my index HTML. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put this into my repo. So I so I'm in my my directory, so I'm going to init it. I always make a few typos, keeps me awake. Um, so now I have that added, so now I'm going to
So I have my README, I have my index.html, that's everything I need. Commit it. The initial website. So now if I look, once that's complete, if I look over here and I reload my repo, I see that I have my README and my, my data. So my website is in here, there's my index.html. So <clears throat> now what I need to do, now that I have all my, my website set up, I need to set up the pipeline. So in order to set up the pipeline, the Git using GitLab CI, I need to create a file called, well, let me just edit it, gitlab-ci.yml. The YML stands for YAML, yet another markup language. There are so many of them. And in here, I'm going to put the configuration to set up my pipeline. So the way that the, the <coughs> The GitLab CI is set up, it, it will detect this and launch the necessary runners and everything that I need to do my deployment. And this is going to be a simple deployment. So the first the first two tags I need are the image tag. We're going to end image alpine. So that is um, alpine is a very lightweight container image. So that's what I'm going to use to deploy my web my static website. And Pages tells the CI, start a runner, create this Alpine, use this Alpine image, so pull it from Docker Hub or whatever, and then you are going to deploy to Pages. So this says, the tar this is the target for the deployment. So the next line will be the stage. So at what stage am I doing here? So this can be build, test, or deploy. We're only deploying. So we're not doing any testing. Uh, a, a further video, we'll do some testing. And then I need a script. So in this case, I'm not actually running a script because I'm going to use the default behavior, which is to deploy this to pages. So to de deploy everything to pages that I tell it to do. So I'm not doing anything here. And then I need to tell it what to deploy. So the artifacts are, what are you deploying? Again, this is for pages. Up here we see pages. So um, what do you want me to put on pages? And here there's paths. So this can be a series of files and directories that I want to attach to the job. And in this case, on success. So in this case, my path is going to be my public directory. So this is the directory that I created. And as I said before, for this particular type of deployment, it has to be public. I'm not sure if that's restricted to GitLab CI or Pages or what, but it has to be public. I can't name it anything else. So that's what I want to deploy, everything that's in the public directory. And then when? When do I deploy it? So we're going to use only. So there's only, and there's a couple of others, but only has been superseded by rules. But rules are a little more complex, so I'm going to use only because it's very simple. So in, in future examples, you'll see um, rules. But this only defines the branches and tags the jobs run for, job runs for. So if I, uh, and in my case, I'm going to say, when I update the master, I want you to deploy. So what I say is master here. So I might want to deploy, say when I'm testing, I might want to deploy that, that information. So I might have test branch names. I can use um, wildcards. And I can deploy multiple when, when multiple things happen. So in this case, I'm saying only when the master branch is updated. So that is my CI CD pipeline. So the integration is when I push. <clears throat> I'm not doing any testing. I'm not doing any building. I'm doing deploying. So when I push to master, deploy to pages. That's what this says. So we're going to save this. So now I have um, more in my repository. Let's see what I've got. So if we do tree, we should see, uh, oh, tree won't show it, of course. ls-la will show it because it's a hidden file. So anything that begins with a dot in, in Unix, in case you're not familiar with it, is a hidden file. So they're in my, that, the only thing I really need to update is this. So that's what I'm going to do. So So I'm 
adding the pipeline configuration and I'm going to push it. So now we're going to have a look at seeing what's going on on GitLab. So if I look here, here I'll see I have a pipeline running and I have a job running. So the job is the push, it's the integration, and the pipeline will be um, merging. And notice here, deploy is running. So I can see what's going on here. And now it's passed. And the job passed. So they both passed. So the only if doing something this simple, the only thing that you might have an issue with is if you made a typo in the, the YAML file, or um, you are you used the one er error that I got was when I used a directory other than public. So if I look at my repo itself, I should be able to see that there I have the YAML file, and that was the only change. If I look, if I wanted to look at that uh, particular um, merge. So now, because this passed in my pipelines, that means that I have had a pages created for me. And the way that Pages works is it creates a, a site using your GitLab ID, and mine is CAMPBE13. It uses the host name demo, uh, sorry, it uses the host name GitLab.io. So let's just, let me type this out. CAMPBE13. I keep typing in here. There we go. GitLab.io and then demo one. So it should have deployed my page to here. So let's see if it worked. Ta-da, it worked. So as I said, I can do this, um, I can do this with any HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. So any static site I can do this with. And let's just demonstrate now um, changing the HTML. So let's say, um, and as I said, that particular, this particular pipeline configuration will only push master and only push what's in my public directory. So I can make lots of changes here. So I could have, um, I might have a license text here. So this I don't necessarily want to push, but I'm going to put in here MIT. This will be the MIT license to do. So that file will not be pushed, but anything that I update or add to my public directory will be pushed. So I'm going to add this file and I'll go to public. And here, let's modify my index HTML. Again, it doesn't have to be just a single HTML. I'm just doing this for simplicity. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add Let's add, um, let's make the body text different. Let's say, what do we want to do here? Uh, we're going to use um, the body text can be font and style equals so there's my style from the body. I think I've got a closing tag. And then here I want to put another level. Let's put in so I'm going to change this. And that. So and so I added an H2 level and maybe some text. So I'm adding some text, but I, what I could be doing is I could be adding links, I could be adding other pages. So provided it's in public and provided it's HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, it's fine. So I'm going to update that. So now I'm going to go back here. So now I have to tell GitLab to trigger GitLab's pipeline. So let's do that. I'm going to add everything. placeholder and update website. So the license, because it's not in public, that won't 
have any effect on my website, but it will be updated. So there's my commit statement. Oops, git uh, commit syntax problems. I always have that, like I said, typos. So now I committed it, git push origin master. There we go. So let's see what's happening here. Let's have a look at my pipeline. So there it's running. Job is also running. So as I said, the job is the um, pushing and here's my pipeline. So it's still running. So my, my website hasn't been updated, so there's no point in checking it. I'm gonna wait for a minute. I can, it's still running. Uh, finally, it passed. The job passed. So I should check, let's see, did it deploy to pages? Yes, it did. Notice the font changed and I have my extra text. So that's pretty much it. So all I have to do in order to, oops, sorry, wrong way. All I have to do in order to set up a pipeline is to set up a correctly configured gitlab-ci.yaml file. So this particular GitLab, this particular CI configuration is very simple. All it does is it pushes everything in public to master, sorry, pushes everything in public two pages when I update the master branch. That's it. And I was using VI here, but you can use whatever editor you want. You can do this on Windows, you can do this on Linux, um, and that's all it takes to give yourself a nicely deployed website. So I'm gonna put links in the, in the description also to a lab if you wanna try this out on yourself with written instructions on how to do this. Um, but hopefully this is helpful. Um, any feedback is also helpful, so please give me feedback if you have any. Thank you.